Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Luke from the Blocks Cast. I'm here bringing you something pretty cool. Today, I'm showing you Mortal Mindbat's Fatality. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Mindbat. Uh, last time on Mortal Mindbat, Mind uh, I showed you the actual fighting, but now it's the fatalities. So, if you don't know what a fatality is, it's basically the finishing move of the in the game Mortal Kombat. So here we, I'm, uh, I've built three. This is sort of a proof of concept. So this one is, so what the concept is, is you press a button and the armor stands do something. So this first one is just a simple jump attack. So you see that guy jumped and hit the other armor stand. So then we can reset it and then we can do it again. So it's pretty cool. It takes some positioning of the armor stands. Next, this one is actually from the game. This is a uh, this is Kenshi does this. So he's a character in Mortal Kombat. So in the game, he picks him up and he spins his sword in midair, and then he basically throws the character into the sword. So I try to remake that. So here is mine. You see we have the sword, they get picked up, and then they die. So, of course, we can redo it. Um, and then we press reset fatality. And then we go here. So, there we go. You see it, the sword moves left and right, and then they basically explode, which is pretty cool. Next is scorpions. It basically they bring scorpion brings them down to the nether, nether realm and then kicks them into a pool of lava. This is from the older games, not Mortal Kombat X. This uh, this specific one. But so what we have is we when we start the fatality, they start walking. He drags them down, then he kicks them into the fire. So it was pretty quick. So if we do it again, now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hook up. Uh, a button so if we just grab this and let's line up this redstone and then we just have it and so we can just press the button right here there we go so now if we clear all right so you see he starts walking we, he drags him down then he kicks him into the lava so what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna put a delay on this so if we press it oh it didn't do anything because the armor stands are not there so and i i apologize for the lag there's quite a bit going on so he walks towards it brings him down and kicks him down and we get teleported back up so now the redstone behind this it's pretty easy redstone it's just it takes quite a bit of command blocks but they're really short commands so of course this is the biggest one because it's doing the most this one's the second biggest and this is the easiest so if we walk over here uh, we can see what's happening so this is the characters and then this is the song so for this character, it's an armor stand with the custom name of Scorpion with no gravity. And it's teleport. It's summoning it right there. Then what it's doing? It's posing it with um, these, uh, like so. It's it looks like this, and the commands will be in the chat. And then this one it is just giving it a, a golden sword. So it has it. Oh, do you not want the space there? So it's there's the gold sword. Again, the commands will be at the chat. And over here, this is just an armor stand with the name of Reptile. So I can uh, specifically pose that one. Ooh, excuse me. And then what it's doing, it is teleporting Scorpion uh, one block up. Uh, keep what, uh, one block up and one to the right. And then it's doing that again. Then it's doing that again. Then it's doing that again. And then it's starting to drop Scorpion. He's starting to fall. Then he just falls straight down. And then what it's doing, it is moving Scorpion's sword down one. So it looks like the sword is chopping. And then it explodes. And then it just kills Reptile. And so, and then for the reset button, it's just killing those two armor stands. And then it's just replacing them with some redstone, activating those two command blocks. So next we have is the sword one, 
which is pretty easy but pretty hard. So what it's continually doing is doing this clock that is continually moving these armors, the armor stand's arm. So it looks like the blade is spinning. So it's basically changing this number right here to just up by 10. So I'm not gonna go through all of them, but it's just changing it up by 10. Then it's doing this. It is teleporting Sub-Zero, which is this armor stand right here. That's gonna be right here. Uh, one block, so it's going forward and up. It's going up and forward and then eventually it will reach to that sword then we'll do it'll explode and it will kill sub-zero and then over here we have the reset it's just summoning a, um, a little an armor stand with the name sub-zero with no gravity and uh, just show arms and it's facing this way and then we just have over here we have kenshi He's not, he don't really need them, but I just thought I would add them. So that is for the, uh, the sword fatality. Finally, we have the bring them to nether realm, the nether realm. So what it's doing, this is a lot harder to do. So let's just reset this. So what's happening when you press this button it is teleporting uh, Kung Lao, which is this guy right here, his name is Kung Lao, and uh, one block forward, so he's walking towards uh, Scorpion. It's com repeatedly doing that. Then what it's doing uh, over here, it is making Scorpion, I uh, named him Scorpion 2, so he doesn't mix up with the first one. Um, it is make It looks like it's grabbing him. That's teleporting me three blocks under, Scorpion one block under, Kung Lao, and it's doing that for four blocks. This I don't I don't know why this exists. Then what it's doing it is looking so it rotates it and so it looks like it hits it, and then it's tele teleporting Kung Lao one block back, then killing it, and then it's teleporting me back up. So that's really it. Again, the commands will be in the chat. So I my personally my favorite since it's so so simple, but it's actually, it actually looks pretty cool. I like this one a lot. But my favorite's probably the last one. This is, I like this. This is probably my second favorite because it's just so simple, but it looks so cool. And uh, I'm just gonna show you guys all, all of them one more time. So if we, so the sword chops them up, and let's reset this, and boop. And then finally we have this one. I uh, make it the redstone again, cause so we could see it a lot easier. Um, break. No, I don't want the button on the floor. There we go. Redstone, redstone, redstone. Button here. Press the button. Walks forward. Boom. Drops them. Pu punches them off. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Comment down below, what should I build next from Mortal Kombat? Maybe the X-ray moves. I don't know. It doesn't have to be from Mortal Kombat. I can always build like Street Fighters or something. So thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. See you guys.